Two, Simple Pong and Python 3 for Beginners, Part 1. Let's take a look at what we're going to be building today. Classic Pong game. So we've got a paddle on the right. We've got a paddle on the left. And we've got a ball in the center. Okay, and the ball goes off the screen. And the opposite player gets a point, and the ball continues. Okay, so that is what we're going to be working on. So let's get started. Um, today, we're going to be doing this by using Python, of course. This is written in Python 3, um, but it should work in Python 2 as well. I don't think there's any uh, Python 3 specific code in this particular tutorial. Um, so we're going to be building this on top of the turtle module. Um, turtle module it was a nice little module. It lets you do some basic graphics. It's great for getting started with games. Um, a lot of, a lot of uh, tutorials use Pygame, which is amazing. Uh, it's got a lot of great features, but for beginners, this is a lot simpler, and uh, it's built in. You don't have to install it like you do with Pygame. Um, so now that I've got my turtle uh, imported, the module, I need to create a window. So I'm going to call it WN. You can call it WIN, W-I-N, or whatever you want to call it, And but I use WN. And it's turtle.screen. Notice the S is capitalized. It's very important. Um, and I'm going to give it a title. And I'm going to call that Pong by at Tokyo EdTech. That's my Twitter handle. Um, you can follow me there. You can uh, certainly subscribe here on YouTube and and uh, follow any new tutorials I have. And do feel free to uh, you know leave comments. I do take keep a close eye on things. And if you have any trouble, let me know. And I want to change the background color of the window to black. It's classic Pong. And I want to change the size of the window. And I want the width to be 800, and I want the height to be 600 pixels. Okay. And then I'm going to do something called Wind Tracer. Um, this one's a little bit hard to explain, but basically what that does is it actually stops the window from updating. And uh, so we have to manually update it. What this lets us do is basically speed up our, our games quite a bit. If we didn't do that, things would run much, much slower. So every game meet, needs something called a main game loop. Okay, and this is where basically all the meat and potatoes of your, your game goes to. Um, so we're going to make a loop while true. And I'm going to put four spaces there. Um, you can use tabs, uh, but spaces are recommended. But whatever you use, make sure that you are consistent. You can't mix spaces and tabs. And I'm going to do win.update. And what that does is every time the loop runs, it updates the screen. Okay. Just a quick note, this, this program is written for beginners, so I'm not really using object-oriented programming. I'm not really using classes, except as it relates to the, the turtle module. Um, this is basically a, a really straightforward, kind of old-school style of programming uh, methodology. So let's run that and see how it goes. And what we should have is we have our title, black background. It is 800 wide by 600 tall. 0, 0 is at the center, so plus 300, minus 300, plus 400, minus 400. Remember those numbers, because they'll come in handy in our next few tutorials. So that's all for this particular lesson. I just wanted to get you started. We move on to lesson two, where we'll add our paddle on the left, paddle on the right, and our ball in the center. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in lesson two.